Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with your latest edition of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, as it says up at the top of the screen here. Questions, ideas about what you would like to see on here, please let me know, austin.onig at wrag.com. If you've learned anything about weather in the Mid-South, if you've lived here for, like I have, almost 20 years or even longer than that, you know to be prepared for just about anything. For this weekend, we're going to be looking at the possibility of some very hot conditions in the area, so definitely want to be thinking about keeping cool across the area. Forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, 90s unfortunately for today. Winds very light out of the southeast and plenty of sunshine. Today's, tonight's lows back in the lower 70s. That is going to be about as cool as it gets for the Mid-South area for later on tonight. So coffee in your cup. You may want to think about an iced brew for later on as we get into some very hot temperatures. We're also looking at the second severe weather season coming up. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. We'll also talk about your complete forecast, which does have some cooler weather heading our way. So stay tuned for more on that coming up in just a little bit. In your cup, if you're going to be heading out the door pretty soon for right later on today, your cough temp decks exclusively exclusive and tongue firmly in cheek. Definitely want to think about some iced, frothy coolness, if at all possible, because it is going to be a very warm day across the entire Mid-South. Earthquakes in the area, a minor one just north of the Mid-South area, north of Dyersburg, up around New Bern, but none directly in the News Channel 3 viewing area within the last 24 hours, thanks to the United States Geological Survey and to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis for more details on that. Mississippi River, as seen from our tower cam, looking out over Martyrs Park in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, eastern Arkansas in the left middle area of the screen, going to be descending into the next next few days and then quite possibly rising once again as we head toward next Tuesday with all that water making its way down the Mississippi River. Apparently the Windy Country Club cam is having a bit of a problem. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Power Center Academy, a few uh, cars in the parking lot, but otherwise a lot of sunshine out across the area, but otherwise very quiet in Germantown as well from X Airbus Drivers webcam. Love that backyard pond, very nice there. Rhodes College in Memphis, temperatures earlier back into the lower 80s. Heat index already approaching 84 with Plenty of sunshine from the Weather Underground system. Ole Miss track and field camera. Gorgeous conditions. A few joggers and strollers out early this morning before game day festivities get underway. Air quality today and tomorrow expected to be on the moderate or yellow shade category which again is not entirely good, but definitely nowhere near the code orange or worse category, so good news on that. Almanac page for yesterday, 95 the high. Came within one degree of a record high temperature. Did not make it record high for today. 95 also set back in 2010. I have a bad feeling we're going to be giving that a very good run for its money. Record low of 43 set back in 1983. Nowhere close to that for today. Dry yesterday, no rainfall to report. It's been a dry month of September typically one of the drier months of the year and we're behind for the month by an inch and a half ahead for the year by 12 inches or so and need a little bit more again on that for the month more than anything else. Low wildfire danger we've had enough rainfall in the mid-south to where we do not have anything in the way of burn bans taking place across the tri-state area so good news on that and hopefully that will be continuing as well. Moon will be rising a little bit later on this afternoon and this evening and into this evening should be some good stargazing conditions less than 12 hours coming up on that as we go for our sun information over the next few days. Sunrise on Sunday at 6.49, sunset tonight at 6.52. Now for the rest of the forecast, again, very much on the warm side throughout the rest of the morning. Lunchtime temperatures easily back in the lower 90s, so hopefully your air conditioning system is working. The green shaded category that you see on the screen, that's where, again, the computer models are indicating the possibility of some scattered areas of showers taking place into parts of the Mid-South, but we're just not looking at much of anything taking place at this time where it involves real amounts of rainfall. Maybe an isolated shower, but beyond that, just not much to expect. High temperatures through the day in the mid-90s, mid to upper 80s to lower 90s around dinner time tonight. Mid-evening temperatures through News Channel 3 at 10, mid to upper 70s, winds light out of the east, not doing much to cool anybody off, and by News Channel Channel 3 daybreak early Sunday morning. Temperatures will be back in the, once again, the upper 60s to around the lower 70s. Your seven-day forecast, warm and humid early today, sunny and hot for the rest of the day. Temperatures again about 10 degrees above normal today and tomorrow. Now tomorrow evening, that's where we start getting into the possibility of some isolated showers and thunderstorms and into Monday as well. The possibility will exist throughout the day, but only about a 20% coverage chance is going to be expected. 
as we get into Monday, so not much to be worried about in the way of showers or thunderstorms after that. The good news at this time, and yes, there is some, is we'll be looking for highs back in the mid to upper 70s. Tuesday and Wednesday, lower 80s by Thursday. Warming up a bit by next Friday into Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures approaching the mid to upper 80s, just a bit above normal, but not into the 90s and continuing dry conditions out there. Plenty of sunshine. Looks like a spate of very nice days ahead and no major problems seen out there. Next few Skywarn spotter meetings coming up into the next few days. Benton County will be next on Tuesday, October 4th. Thursday, October 6th at the Hardin County Fire Department Station on 90 Walnut Road in Savannah, Tennessee. And Tishomingo County Courthouse in Iuka, Mississippi on Tuesday, the 11th of October at 6.30 p.m. More information about the Skywarn Spotter meetings upcoming at WRAG.com. Plus, you can find out more about the severe weather season in the Mid-South, the second one coming up, also at WRAG.com slash weather. Thanking everybody for the great pictures. Trey Cool, a very nice view from Le Bonner Children's Hospital earlier this week overlooking downtown Memphis. A view of sunrise this morning from David Ray Caudell in Clarksdale, Mississippi. Very nice view of the eastern horizon there. And a nice view from JD Janice Lady Taz Smith of a shadow across the sky. Wrote in to wonder what that could have been. I think, from what it looks like, it was a fairly thick jet contrail that was right across the sun casting a shadow. From what it looks like, it lines up with that jet contrail pretty nicely. What you're looking at is that area right in the middle of your screen. And that is where we are seeing, again, the area indicated there for the amount of shadow being indicated. She said it faded after a little while. So that, I think, is pretty much what it was. Could have been another cloud up there someplace, brightness of the sun blocking that out, kind of difficult to say, but nothing showing up elsewhere, so good news on that. If you'd like to send anything in, please send it to Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. And don't forget about my forecast all weekend long on the EAB network on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Great opportunity to learn more about the weather while you're out and about this weekend. And don't forget about the News Channel 3 app. Go to the App Store and search WREG weather for more information to download that to your android or your apple or with your other cell phone availability out there again a very hot weekend coming up we'll have details on your forecast tonight after the football games probably a delayed news channel 3 at 6 we'll be on at news channel 3 at 10 and of course don't forget about more coming up on news channel 3 daybreak on sunday plus we'll have more at wreg.com slash weather for more from the news channel 3 severe weather center i'm meteorologist austin onik thanks for joining me for the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog weather overtime and much more coming up throughout the weekend from wreg news channel 3